In today's video, I'm going to show you a spinning mouse trap that dunks mice in a bucket. I'll show you step by step how to build it, and then we'll test it out with motion cameras in the barn on wild mice. So stay tuned to see this mouse trap in action. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out this spinning bucket style mouse trap. I've tested out hundreds and hundreds of mouse traps, and this is basically a hybrid of two of my all time favorite. The rolling log, you put this across a bucket, bait in the middle, the mouse climbs out on it, it spins and dunks them. This is my most popular video with over 20 million views. And this mouse trap, the Mescal Mill. It sits on a spindle, the mouse crawls out on it, it tries to get the bait on the edge of the paddles. And when the mouse's weight goes off the center of gravity, it spins and they drop. This Mescal Mill mouse trap was described in a book over 429 years ago. I posted the video a few years ago. And it's amazing how well this style works, even for being so old. So this is the hybrid. It has paddles in the middle, but it rotates like the rolling log. Now the idea for this trap came from a patent drawing that was filed in 2007 and granted in 2009. The patent includes a ramp for the bucket and the trap itself. Now I'm not going to make an exact copy of the patent because it's less than 20 years old and still active. But looking at the drawings, I think the original would spin much better than what I have here. But I'm mostly curious about the paddles, getting the mouse out there, moving their weight, and getting dunked. So we have this one to test the idea. Let me show you how I made it. To start, you'll need a bucket. Pretty much any bucket will do, but if you want to make this a live trap, you'll need a taller bucket so the mice can't jump out. We're going to make our trap out of PVC pipe. I got these two foot pre-cut sections at the Home Depot and they're sized one inch and one and a quarter. I got these sizes because the one inch slides nicely through the one and a quarter, and that way the pipe will spin on each other to catch the mice. You'll also need something to attach the paddles to the trap. I like to use a two part epoxy, it's really strong. My favorite is JB Weld. Start by cutting the smaller one inch pipe slightly longer than the top of the bucket. We'll also cut two grooves on either end, halfway through the pipe so it snugly fits on the lip. That looks pretty secure. Now we'll cut the larger one and a quarter inch pipe. We need a piece that's five inches and also two smaller rings. You're gonna to wanna to sand the edges of the pipe as smooth as possible to make sure the trap spins. We're now ready to make the four equal size paddles for this trap out of wood. And to attach them, I'm going to drill a hole in the pipe, but not all the way through. And then attach the paddles with a two-part epoxy. The trap's really starting to take shape. It's spinning nicely, but it doesn't look very good. So I'm going to spray paint it. With the paint dry, we're now ready to slide it on the one inch pipe and then attach the rings on either side so it doesn't slide back and forth. With the epoxy dry, here's what our spinning mouse trap looks like when it's all done. Those grooves fit nicely on the bucket and the paddles in the center spin freely. Now I'm curious, how well does this work with real mice? We're gonna test it out with our pet mice, see if they walk out there, spin and drop in the bucket. Then we're gonna set it up in the barn with motion cameras and try to catch some wild mice. Now I don't want them to get hurt when they fall down so I'm gonna give them a soft landing. That should work. So let's go get our pet mice, see if they go out there and get caught in the spin cycle. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got him. Let's try another pet mouse. Hey, this is working well. Let's try a third mouse. Yep, I like this trap, but the question is, does it work with wild mice? Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see what happens. I'm gonna put peanut butter on the paddles. That way they have to really come out and reach for it. 
This one's extra chunky. Put some bait on the spinner. I really want them coming up and spending a lot of time here trying to get the peanut butter. That should bring them in. Now, if you wanted to kill the mice, you just add water to the bucket. But because it's YouTube, I'm gonna make this a live trap. I put sawdust down there, they'll have a soft landing. I have a motion camera looking straight down in the bucket. So let's see how many mice we catch tonight. Wow, this worked really well. Last night we caught nine mice and two different species. Five of them are native deer mice and four of them are non-native invasive house mice. I'm gonna keep the non-native invasive house mice for pets, but the native deer mice, that's one of them trying to jump out, we're gonna let go. So my son Carson's gonna help me let the native deer mice go. He has some gloves on, go ahead and catch one. Okay, that's a native deer mouse, bring it to the camera. What just happened? He ran away. We'll try it again. <laughs> okay, that's a baby deer mouse. Oh, and he ran away too. He's right there. See him? Mm -hmm. There he goes. Okay. We have another deer mouse, bring it over. It okay, hold it right to the camera, right there. He's such a cutie. Oh, there he goes. He ran away again. Luckily, we caught a lot of mice. He jumped away. Now he ran away. Okay, that one's free. We'll try another one. That's a deer mouse. Try to catch him. Yeah, we've got him now, people. That was our first time catching a mouse. So this is a native deer mouse. The number one way you can tell is he has a white belly right there. He's plain dead, but we're gonna let him go. Go be free. Well, that mouse release didn't go exactly as planned. I was trying to zoom in to show the deer mice up close but before the camera could focus, they kept jumping out of Carson's hand. It was fun seeing him run around trying to catch the mice again. Now we had pretty interesting results with this trap. With the pet mice, they're much larger. They went out, it'd rotate and drop them in the bucket. 
but that only happened one time with the wild deer mice. Even though we caught nine, it was pretty crazy. We didn't need to make it rotate. We would have caught just as many just having the paddles. They went out there, shifted their weight, and dropped down. So if you want to make this more sensitive like a rolling log, you might catch a lot more mice. But you could just set up a pipe without it rotating, just with the paddles, you still might catch a lot. Question and answer time. Does explosive mouse traps exist? I'd love to see one, especially through your channel. Well, what a crazy idea. I'm sure it's possible to make an exploding mouse trap, but there's no way I'm doing it. First of all, it's not safe. You could accidentally hurt yourself, someone you care about, or someone you don't care about. Last month, someone broke into my barn, broke the lock, and if there was an exploding mouse trap in there, I could have hurt them. I don't want to hurt anyone, even if they are a thief. So no exploding mouse trap. Now I do have a notebook here full of different mouse traps I came up with. Over 100 mouse traps I'd like to build and try out. No exploding ones, but one of them is a Coke and Mentos mouse trap. Somehow the mouse drops the Mentos down in the Coke and gets caught. I have some prototypes. That will be a fun video. Also this, this is called gopher smoke. It has a fuse and it puts off smoke that kills gophers down in the tunnels. I thought maybe I could build a trap where a rat goes in there, sets it off, lights it, and gets gassed. So pretty much I have a huge list of ideas for making mousetrap videos, years and years worth of content. If you're not a subscriber, please consider clicking the button right here. I've posted over 550 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, foals, and gophers, stay tuned.